perfect plan for preventing type 2 diabetes. The perfect plan includes. Follow these steps to get started with your perfect plan. Set a weight loss goal. Follow a healthy eating plan for weight loss. Move more. Track your progress. Talk to your healthcare team. Get support to make changes to your lifestyle. Taking small steps, such as eating less and moving more to lose weight. It can help you prevent or delay type 2 diabetes and related health problems. Watch the video to learn information that can help people prevent or delay type 2 diabetes even if they are at high risk for it. Follow these steps to get started with your perfect plan. Set a weight loss goal in perfect plan for preventing type 2 diabetes. When you are overweight, the keys to preventing type 2 diabetes are to lose weight. By choosing foods and drinks that are lower in calories, and to be more active. Set a weight loss goal that you can reach. Try to lose at least 5 to 10% of your current weight within 6 months. For example, if you weigh 200 pounds, a 10% weight loss goal means that you will try to lose 20 pounds. A good short-term goal is to lose 1 to 2 pounds per week. Find your weight loss goal. Find your current weight in the first column to see how much weight you would need to lose for a 5, 7, or 10% weight loss. Calculate your weight loss goal. Use this example to learn how to calculate your exact weight loss goal. In this example, the goal is for a 240 pound person to lose 5% of his or her weight. As shown in the example above, a 240 pound person who wants to lose 5% of his or her weight would lose 12 pounds and weigh 228 pounds. Follow a healthy eating plan for weight loss in perfect plan for preventing type 2 diabetes. You can prevent or delay type 2 diabetes by losing weight by following a low-fat, reduced calorie eating plan and by being more active. Following an eating plan can help you reach your weight loss goal. There are many ways to do this. Remember that the key to losing weight and preventing type 2 diabetes is to make lifelong changes that work for you. Many popular weight loss plans promise quick fixes and haven't been proven to work long-term or to prevent type 2 diabetes. The four most important steps to eating healthy for weight loss are Eat smaller portions than you currently eat of foods that are high in calories, fat, and sugar. Eat healthier foods in place of less healthy choices. Choose foods with less trans fat, saturated fat, and added sugars. Drink water instead of drinks with sugar such as soda, sports drinks, and fruit juice. Pay attention to portion sizes. Using the plate method can help you manage your portion sizes. Fill half of your plate with fruits and vegetables. Fill one quarter with a lean protein, such as chicken or turkey without the skin, or beans. Also, fill one quarter with a whole grain, such as brown rice or whole wheat pasta. You can use everyday objects or your hand to judge the size of a portion. For example, one serving of meat or poultry is about the size of the palm of your hand or a deck of cards. One three-ounce serving of fish is the size of a checkbook. Two tablespoons of peanut butter is like a ping-pong ball. One serving of cheese is like six dice. One half cup of cooked rice or pasta is like a rounded handful or a tennis ball. Recommended daily calories and fat grams. This table shows how many grams of fat and calories you should eat each day to lose weight. Your needs may be different, but these are good starting points. The amounts are based on the eating patterns used in the Diabetes Prevention Program Research Study. How to read the food label. When making food choices, use the Nutrition Facts label on food packages to see how many calories and fat grams are in the foods you choose. Eat foods from each food group. Your eating plan should include a variety of foods from each food group. Use this chart from the US Department of Agriculture to learn more about which foods to eat. Eating tips for weight loss. Try to get as close as possible to your daily calorie and fat gram goals. Eat meals and snacks at about the same time each day to keep from getting too hungry. Eat your meals on smaller plates and put your drinks in smaller glasses to make portions look bigger. Don't worry about cleaning your plate. Moreover, eat slowly. It takes 20 minutes for your stomach to send a signal to your brain that you are full. Also, limit alcoholic beverages. If you drink alcohol, choose light beer or wine instead of mixed drinks. Move more in perfect plan for preventing type 2 diabetes. 
when you move more every day, you will burn more calories. This can help you reach your weight loss goal and keep the weight off. Even if you don't lose weight, being more active may help you prevent or delay type 2 diabetes. Find ways to be active for at least 30 minutes, 5 days a week. Walking is recommended for most people. Also, check with your healthcare team about other exercise programs. Use these tips to get started, and keep moving. Dress to move. Wear walking shoes that fit your feet and provide comfort and support. Moreover, your clothes should allow you to move and should keep you dry and comfortable. In particular, look for fabrics that take sweat away from your skin to keep you cool. Start slowly. Start by taking a 5 to 10 minute walk, or doing another activity that you like, on most days of the week. Slowly, add more time until you reach at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity activity 5 days a week. Of course, moderate intensity activity will increase your heart rate and breathing. Add more movement to your day. There are many ways you can add more movement to your day. If you have a dog, take your dog for a brisk walk in the morning or evening. When going shopping, park further away from the store's entrance to increase your walk time. When you ride the bus, get off one stop early and walk the rest of the way if it is safe. Try to sit less in your day. Get up every hour and move. When you watch TV, walk or dance around the room, march in place, or stretch. Move more at work. Take a movement break during the day. Go for a walk during lunchtime. Also, deliver a message in person to a coworker instead of sending an email. Walk around your workplace while talking on the telephone. Moreover, take the stairs instead of the elevator to your workplace. Use the alarm on your phone, watch, or other device to remind you to take movement breaks. Count your steps. You may be surprised to learn how much walking you already do every day. Use a pedometer or other wearable device to keep track of your steps. A pedometer is a gadget that counts the number of steps you take. Work up to 7,000 minus 10,000 steps per day. Keep your muscles strong. Do activities to strengthen your muscles, such as lifting weights or using resistance bands two or more days a week. Stretch it out. If your body aches or is sore, you are less likely to move more. To reduce stiff or sore muscles or joints, consider stretching after being active. In particular, don't bounce when you stretch. Perform slow movements and stretch only as far as you feel comfortable. Make it social. When you bring other people into your activities, you are more likely to stick to your plan. Make walking, dates, with friends or family members throughout the week. For family fun, play soccer, basketball, or tag with your children. Also, take a class at a local gym or recreation center to be active with other people. Start a walking group with your neighbors, at work, or where you worship. Have fun smiley face. Being active doesn't have to be boring or painful. Turn up the music and dance while cleaning the house. Go dancing with friends and family members. Play sports with your kids or grandkids. Try swimming, biking, walking, jogging, or any activity that you enjoy that gets you moving. Find different ways to be active so you won't get bored. Keep at it. Reward yourself with non-food treats, such as watching a movie, to celebrate your small successes. The longer you keep at it, the better you'll feel. Of course, making changes is never easy, but being more active is one small step toward a big reward, a healthier life. Track your progress in perfect plan for preventing type 2 diabetes. Research shows that people who keep track of their weight and activity reach their goals more often than those who don't. So, weigh yourself at least once a week. Moreover, keep track of what you eat and drink, how many minutes of activity you get each day, and your weight. These example images show how to record your daily activity and food intake. Talk with your healthcare team in perfect plan for preventing type 2 diabetes. People are usually more successful at weight loss and being more active when they have regular contact and support from health professionals. So, talk with your healthcare team about the changes you want to make to prevent type 2 diabetes. Tell your healthcare team about your progress with weight loss and activity. And if you are having trouble sticking with your plan, Ask your healthcare team if you should take a medicine called metformin. Research shows that taking metformin can help prevent or delay type 2 diabetes. It is most useful for 
younger people who are overweight and have pre-diabetes, and for women who have had gestational diabetes, a type of diabetes that develops during pregnancy. Contact your health insurance provider to learn what benefits are offered for. Weight loss programs. Diabetes prevention programs. Nutrition counseling. Or fitness programs. If you smoke or use other tobacco products, you should stop. Even though quitting smoking can make it hard to manage your weight, it is a very important step to improve your health. Ask your healthcare team to help you create a plan for quitting. Discover how to quit smoking naturally, link in the description. Get support for changing your lifestyle in perfect plan for preventing type 2 diabetes. Making big changes in your life is hard. So, you don't have to change everything at once. You can make it easier by taking these steps. Think about what is important to your health. What are you willing and able to do? Example, I know that being more active can help me lose some weight. Decide what your goals are. Choose one goal to work on first. Example, I want to see if I can work up to getting 30 minutes of walking in a day on at least 5 days of the week. Decide what steps will help you reach your goal. Pick one step to try this week. Add one or two healthy changes every week. Don't get upset with yourself when you have a setback or lose control of your plan. Everyone has slips. Injury, illness, or being too busy can make it hard to stick to your plan. It's not easy to make lifelong changes in what you eat and drink and in how often you are active. The important thing is to review your perfect plan and get back on track as soon as possible. You don't have to do it alone. Find family and friends who will support and encourage you in preventing type 2 diabetes. Join with a neighbor or co-worker in changing your lifestyle. Talk with your healthcare team to learn about programs that may help. Note. Diabetes is a dangerous disease with many complications related to the kidneys, heart, liver and causes many serious health effects. Understand the causes and prevention of the disease so that you can promptly treat the signs and symptoms of the disease. The purpose is to solve your problem. So be open and ready to experiment. At the same time, choose your strategy, take action and start enjoying the benefits. Reference. Diabetes Freedom, 2 months free solution. Or visit 247naturalhealth.com to all chronic illness information. Link in the description. In particular, if you know Qigong and its miraculous improvements to health, visit farlandafa.org. Thank you. I hope you are always happy and healthy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive useful information.